I'm David and I'm playing Orlando. Oh, he calls us back. Uh, yeah, my name is Eri Nzaramba. And I'm playing Oliver, the older brother. Should I anatomize him today as he is? Orlando's reached a point in his life where um, for like however many years he's not being treated well by his brother, he's being allowed no um, no leeway to be a gentleman and he's treated like a servant. This is it, Adam, the grieves me and the spirit of my father, which I think is within me against him, mutiny against his servitude. So the play begins with him basically saying, I'm gonna confront my brother. Well, there are 20 brothers because thus I have as much of my father in me as you. Albeit I confess your coming before me was nearer to his reverence. Oliver, Oliver doesn't think he's, the, he's you know, he's mistreated his brother or anything. Um, Oliver, you know, from a young age, when the father died, has had this huge responsibility of managing the estate and, uh, you know, leading all these servants and uh, making, well, making money, you know, because otherwise the estate is just in decline. What? Boy! There's, a, there's something called respect and a hierarchy in a family and um, the oldest brother, once the father's gone, is the, you know, is the head, of, head, of, uh, head of the family and he's owed respect. I am the oldest son of Sir Roland the Boys. He is my father and he is Christ the villain and says such a father is not villain. Wait thou not my brother? I did not take this hand from my throat till this other had pulled out my tongue to say. Be patient for your father's remembrance. There's no way back. There's no way back. He's crossed the line and Oliver, and he's made Oliver cross the line as well. Oliver can't go back and pretend nothing's happened. Something's gotta happen. So then from there, after like um, working in rehearsal, um, it comes to the point, it came to the point where we took it away and started to try and investigate what had happened possibly in their lives to make to bring them to this point at the beginning it was a lot of textual work on it like um, yeah. a lot of um, just really mining into the text with Tim and with Sophie um, digging underneath to find what the the dynamics were when they uh, meet at the beginning of the play yeah I hope I shall see an end of him for my soul yet I know not why hates nothing more than he we wanted to find first all the information as much as possible from the text and not try to invent stuff yeah. too early. You know, once we were comfortable with the uh, with who we were from you know from Shakespeare's words, mm -hmm. then we went on and um, tried tried to figure out a biography mm -hmm. of the family, and then um, we kind of agreed on most of the points actually, and then we even decided about the ages that we got and. Uh, you know the timeline. We mapped the timeline. When did the father die? When did the coup happen? And how old are they now, today, when the play starts, mm -hmm. and so on? So I think we, we, we've got a pretty, a pretty good idea of uh, who we are. I will not tell I please. You shall hear me. My father charged you in his will to give me good education. You have trained me like a peasant. 